Donna Franklin from Northeast Texas, Northeast, um, well, the Dallas area. Uh, I was diagnosed with keratoconus some three years ago, and I'm here to see Dr. Bryan for correction. This is my third day, and I uh, am overwhelmed. Um, I hope I don't break down. I can see for the first time. Oh, I'm 67 years old and have not been able to see like this since a child. Um, been through vision correction and everything else, but as I aged, um, I was told there was nothing that could be done about my vision. And uh, even though I was diagnosed with keratoconus three years ago, I was referred to Dallas to a doctor and he ran all kinds of tests and um, the same ones that were done here. And he basically said there was nothing to do uh, to correct it. Very rude, spent no time with us and wouldn't even make eye contact. Um, went back and just continued life until um, about seven months ago. And I went to a um, my regular doctor and he said, Donna, I think there's a guy in Dallas that will correct, he can do correction with cornic, cornic keratoconus. Um, and uh, I said, no, I don't think so. I said, we had seen the Olympics and had seen the bobsled dri uh, driver, the captain, and he was going blind which was caught, what caught our attention. He had keratoconus, and that was the first time we'd ever heard mention of this. So we went through a series of tests, and he said, yes, he could correct me, but I needed to sign a paper saying I would enter the study for six months. And um, he did the first procedure. Um, Cross-linking. Which was cross-linking, and it was the most painful, excruciating surgery I'd ever been through. Um, he told my husband it was um, akin to um, severe welder's burn. Yeah, severe welder's burn, and it really was. It kept me awake all night long and the next day, too. And uh, he had failed to put a band aid on, so the doctor um, who saw me the next day um, put that on, and that stopped the pain, but uh, they would go no further. Consequently, you weren't able to drive for seven months. I was months. unable to drive and uh, with no future in it. So my husband said, that's enough. We're going to do what we have to. If we have to borrow the money, we're going to see um, Dr. Bryan in California. And uh, we got together every bit of my paperwork, which has been seven years worth in or eight, and uh, sent it out overnight mail and just kept our fingers crossed. It said it could be six to eight weeks, and the day after they received my paperwork, I received a notice saying, come on out, and uh, we, we can fix you. And uh, they did tests the first day. We got here um, Monday for the, fit, for the testing, and on Tuesday, the surgery was performed, the procedures uh, for intacts, and um, for CK, and I, this is our third day here, and uh, the first day after surgery, and I could see, and I got dizzy coming over from the hotel. We walked over, and I said, oh my God, Larry, I can see down the street, I can see color, I can see everything, and it was too much, you know, it, it made me dizzy. So, he has given me back my eyes, and that's worth everything in the world. I mean, you can't put a price tag on that. And they are down to earth, and such loving and gentle people, and uh, the entire staff. And it's just, they're here to help you, and here to return your vision. And what more can you ask for than that?